Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Tennessee Titans. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. There's a short one caught by Uzama. So he stopped for no gain, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Now Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think a Jet was able to recover, and they'll keep possession thanks to a heads-up play. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And that is too far out in front. He couldn't haul it in. Incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. First and 10, it's Levis. That's complete to Traylon Burks. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Here's Levis. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down. 
That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Third and short. It's Levis. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. A band on first and 10. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, Wilson. And check down, complete to Hall. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. They'll go for it. It's a band of Kanda. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. The field goal would have been a pretty decent length, but I'm still kind of surprised they didn't kick it. Yeah, I know, because you think you take the three there, trust him, but at the same time, if you can't pick up a few inches in this situation, you probably don't deserve to win the game anyway. Go get it, and they did. Touchdown, Jets! The two Wilson, Zach and Garrett team it up there. And the Jets take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, 
everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Levis looking to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Levis to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Levis now on first and ten. Phillips has it running the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Levis sets up to throw here. This will go to Henry out wide. And he's got this down to the 35. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A first down carry for Henry. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. Henry. Is in. Touchdown, Tennessee. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. Extra point up and good by Folk. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence. When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. Oh, 
the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. But just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. The Jets on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing is Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The give now to Abanacanda. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. On the handoff, Abanacanda. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10, it's Hall. Able to slither by. Credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Well, they'll come up second and seven. On second down, a run with Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. Here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 25-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Wilson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now Wilson. 
And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling order. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And they've got just over 50 seconds to go till halftime, so they can try to put something together if they want. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Levis. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That one's taken in by Spears. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And Levis going back to the air. Over the middle, he has a Conquo. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Folks' kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. 
Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Again, it's Henry. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Levis on third down. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Second and seven. Back to throw, it's Levis. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. 56 to Mike. 56 to Mike. Levis back to throw. Launches deep, a jump ball, and this is caught. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process, and really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. Nifty move, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 56 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Being chased out left. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. 
I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Third and goal, here's Levis. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins from three yards out. And the Titans have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. On for the extra point is Folk. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Second and ten. Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Oftentimes now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. And he's taken down inside the 30. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Now Wilson on first down. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. From the 25, here's second and six. Here's Abanacanda, and he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans' 19-yard line. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. They'll run with Hall. Sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. 
Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now Wilson on second down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. Here's Wilson to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Titans are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And the Titans getting set to go. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he might have gotten that yard back, and that's about it, as he'll take it only up to about the 20. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Levis. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Now second and nine. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And he'll get about two there to the 36. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And that one hits at the 7, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do. But what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Play action. It's Wilson. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. The Jets on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This time, it's third and three. Sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. 
It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They'll give to Hall. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. Second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 31-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. In motion right, that's Wilson. They'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Second down and six now. Back to the ground with Hall. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Third down, here's a Vanikanda. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Paul on a give up the middle. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 58 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Here's Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from three yards out. And the Jets have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. So take away the touchdown there, as that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. They'll look to run with Hall. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Levis from the gun. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop him before he could get to the marker. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. Over the middle complete. That's Cobb. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Two of the mic. Let's go, defense. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They're going to run the jet sweep. It's Cobb with it. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Third down at six. There's Wilson. That is caught. And he will have a Jets first down. And that should just about do it. And they'll indeed take a knee. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Oh, 
On the ground, it's Abanacanda. And here he'll get it down to the seven. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take the knee. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trail coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve.